Welcome to a day in the life of a television meteorologist. Analyzing, forecasting, and presenting. This is no easy job. Thousands of people base their lives around the information this bunch provides. Whether it's the decision to postpone an athletic contest, or to delay the start of school, rethink a visit to grandma's, or know when to sandbag against floods. Mark, Eileen, Jeff, and Jennifer here understand what that job is all about. It's a public service letting citizens know what's coming so they can have time to prepare. KWWL-TV has four meteorologists. Each member of the Storm Track 7 team has a different schedule, morning, evening, weekends, covering shows throughout the day. And while the shift starts at different times for each, the duties remain much the same. The day starts with settling in, then it's down to business. Meteorologists rely on the National Weather Service. Radar, satellites, temperature readings, wind speed and direction, barometric pressure, and the accurate reports from many area weather spotters. With that information, plus the many computerized forecast models, they are able to forecast the weather seven days into the future. They are able to tell us when it will rain, snow, hail, and more. If there's a possibility of a tornado or drought, you'll know about it well ahead of time. After sorting through all that information, meteorologists work to compile it into graphics to tell their weather story to you, the viewer. They use a computerized system from Weather Central, which allows them to be creative with maps, graphs, grids, and more. It's a lot like Microsoft PowerPoint. Every slide you see, they are responsible for making. High definition camera systems mean adding just a little more makeup before the live telecast. No shine coming off that head today. Showtime! Today, the Storm Track 7 team is expecting highs in the 20s with snow expected in the coming day. The weather segment is coming up next. Here you see the meteorologist standing in front of a wall painted green. But wait! Now you see a weather map behind them. How can this be? It's possible with the help of technology. The camera sees green, but a digital video system is able to replace that green with the weather graphic. Everything you see that is green will be changing soon. This can be a bit dicey when meteorologists wear green themselves, but it's a mistake they'll only make once. Look at that presentation. What a hotsy totsy forecast. Don't they look spiffy on that television set? Being a meteorologist requires years of education. Each forecaster at KWWL has a degree from a collegiate institution in the science of meteorology. Many of them have taken it a step further, getting a certification in their professional field. Mark, Eileen, Jeff, and Jen understand the audience is no bunch of pushovers. When they get the forecast wrong, they hear about it. Think that's a lot of work? Just you wait. Tornadoes, thunderstorms, and blizzards. Severe weather means going wall to wall. That's the presentation of weather information live on television for an extended period of time. In many cases, this can go on for hours. When this happens, additional meteorologists are called into work. They help one another gather accurate, up-to-the-minute data, then broadcast the most important parts to help you know when it's time to take shelter. While stressful, this duty serves the public, and meteorologists understand it is the most important thing they will do in the course of a year. Early notification of approaching storms has been proven to save lives. All day, every day, meteorologists like Jennifer Hildreth are here on their computers, updating KWWL's website, its Facebook, and Twitter accounts. They provide vital weather information to the internet savvy of Eastern Iowa. People like producer Adam Amdor here are just like you and me, who want it now when it comes to the weather. That also means tape recording additional weather forecast segments after the live program. These taped broadcasts are later uploaded to kwwl.com for viewers to enjoy any time of day. The television station KWWL partners with many area radio broadcasters. That means the forecast made by these meteorologists don't just go on TV. It's also broadcast over the radio waves. Each shift, the meteorologist records multiple 30-second updated forecasts, then sends those reports to the radio station for you to listen to at home or while riding in your automobile. 
Many newspapers also include forecasts from this hard-boiled bunch. Look in the paper, just as news director Nate Letting is, and you'll see their hard work in paperback. And that's not all just yet. What about those cellular telephone devices we all carry with us? That text message forecast doesn't come from thin air. That's right, meteorologists do that too. One final part of the job involves giving tours of the station and presenting lectures on meteorology in many schools and organizations across eastern Iowa. If your teacher asks one of these pros, like Jeff Kennedy here, to come talk in your classroom, know that they'll be excited to do so, and will stop at nothing to inspire a new generation of kids to become television meteorologists. So there you see it, on your television set, your radio dial, in digital form on the World Wide Web, and in that newspaper you pick up every morning, this crew is always busy planning out the forecast so you can plan out your life. Anytime a storm gives you the heebie-jeebies, you can rely on StormTrack 7 meteorologists Mark, Eileen, Jeff, and Jennifer to bring you the most accurate forecast. Ready to take a ride? The weather is waiting.